Welcome to Dalcam Crispin Shoemaker Pro 2014 R2 Watts new videos and in this session we're going to be looking at the new reverse engineering functionality within both Shoemaker Pro and Engineer. So what is reverse engineering? It's the taking of lines back from Engineer back into Shoemaker Pro so that pattern cutters and editors and technicians can pass the lines back to the original model in 3D. So we have our 3D model open in Shoemaker Pro. And as you can see, I've already got half the style lines. This is just to ease visualization in Engineer. So what I'm going to do is save these style lines and close the model in Shoemaker Pro. I'm going to go into Engineer and open up this model. And here is the model that was open in Shoemaker Pro. I'm going to make a change to this line here. So I'm going to delete some points. Smooth this out a little bit. And I'm going to right click on this line and open up a dialog. So I've got two options that are new. I've got synchronizing 3D and updating 3D. Synchronizing 3D is that I can update my model in Shoemaker Pro and if I make changes in Shoemaker Pro and pass back to Engineer, the changes will occur backwards and forwards. So it's a synchronization tie between the two. If I select update in 3D, the lines passed back to Shoemaker Pro will be updated, but any further changes to that line in Shoemaker Pro will not be passed back to Engineer. So in a way, Engineer has become the master and the control of Shoemaker. So first let's do synchronize in 3D. So I've selected to synchronize this line and I'm going to save and exit that model. I'm going to go back to Shoemaker Pro and open this model again. A dialog comes open to tell me that my 2D pattern style lines have been changed in Engineer since the model was last open in Shoemaker and do I want to update these patterns? So I select yes. As you can see the line has changed and has been updated according to the changes that I made in Engineer. I can then change again, so if I'm going to add some more points in and alter the line, I'm then going to save once again, close the model, go back to Engineer and reopen the model again. As you can see, the change that I've made, this time I'm going to edit this model so I'm going to just filter these lines a little I'm going to take this line even further in this time I'm going to update in 3D so this time when it's changed into Shoemaker what's going to happen is the change is going to occur but any further edits in Shoemaker are not going to be seen. So the change has been made. I'm going to change it back again and make it smooth around this region just so you can see the change. But this time going into Engineer I shouldn't expect to see this change that's been made in Shoemaker because Engineer is now the master. And as expected, the change hasn't been made. Thank you for watching this update video. I hope you join me in the future to see more.